All right. So this is actually a very no ego goat movement uh, by Microsoft developers over here. So they they didn't use C sharp, uh, which and I don't know why Microsoft doesn't care. They may be caring, but you know, uh, it's it's absolutely amazing to see that how uh, they are all collab collaborating into the ecosystem. So they have said that a 10 X faster TypeScript. Yeah, that's correct. And in that particular thing, they have used Golang. And I personally love Golang a lot. Uh, although I was pretty skeptical that why they didn't use Rust or Cobol if, if they are, you know, moving out of their ecosystem, they are not using C Sharp. Then I was like, okay, so they are not using Rust. They are switching over to Golang. And they also told the reason that why they are doing into their video. So they have not rewritten uh, TypeScript to Golang. Uh, rewritten in the sense, uh, when we, when we do a rewrite, it's basically converting the whole code base. You basically start with nothing, but in porting, you just write exact thing that we have in, uh, let's say TypeScript, and then you port that into Golang. So even the function name, or even if, even if some, if some bugs are there, uh, into TypeScript that also will be ported into Golang. So, you know, one of the main reasons could be the developer ergonomics, uh, you know, basically in Rust. Uh, Rust do provide, you know, greater performance, greater memory management, all those things. But if you are not writing Rust in a good form uh, that Rust expects you to write, then, you know, it's absolutely the same thing, whether you write in Golang or Rust. So now we basically have TypeScript in Golang. Uh, work on uh, this Golang stuff, the repository and venturing onto the repository, we can see that how we can build the TS Go and all those things. And then you can, you know, do some iterations. I'll be doing some experiments with this, uh, in some other videos. Uh, but yeah, now we have <laughs> TypeScript in Go. So thanks Microsoft and absolutely a no ego movement. All right. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video till then. See ya. Have a good day.